don't know what I'm doing with my life. I'm not sure. School is hard. I hate school. I don't have enough time. I've constantly made excuses. I'm really nervous as I do this video. I'm struggling. <laughs> when people ask me what I want to do, when people ask me, oh, what do you want to do after college? Oh, what's your major? What are you going to do with that? Freaks me out. For a while, I've been giving people the same answers that maybe weren't necessarily as truthful or as honest as it should have been, giving them the more the answer that makes them feel at ease, I'm telling them the way that's more of the traditional pathway to go, just because I don't want people asking more questions about it and because I don't want them to look down on me. I realize that it's not them looking down on me, it's more like I'm just scared to admit that. And if I don't have the confidence to say what I really want to do, how am I going to be able to share that with others and do it in the first place? And so I'm here now doing it <laughs> and I'm like having struggling but whew. I thought maybe if I could share my my experience my story that you may be able to make your first step because for me this is my first step I've already talked to a lot of amazing people in this past year that helped me realize more of what I want to actually act on it in a more serious way has not happened until I feel like today this is winter break and the next semester is coming up. I'm really nervous because to get my bachelor's degree, I need to focus this semester and make sure I graduate. I also need to get a certification to teach in Japan this fall 2019 because that's something I want to do. I am so nervous <laughs> and scared. A lot of different Fears that girl going on through my head, what am I, if I'm going to make friends, fighting the fear of being lonely, and also, again, facing culture shock, and getting the fear of I, maybe I don't even like my experience. It's, it's scary. Those are the kind of things that, I'm, that are going through my head right now, but despite those fears, I'm still falling through because I know this is something that I've always wanted to do for probably a few years now. For me, I honestly, I can't live life without knowing that I'm not helping this world in some shape or form. I want people that once they feel like they know that there's something that they want to do, to do whatever it takes to achieve that dream, despite what other people are saying, not to doubt yourself like I have been, what I know that I'm still going to be working on and struggling with. I have all these awesome people supporting me right now, and they believe in me. And I think there's still a hint of me that feels like they're, that I don't believe in them because I'm not believing in myself. That's not good. That's my main purpose, what drives me, because I think that's one of my worst fears, doing something, especially something very like big and significant in my life for someone else. I fear that for other people. I don't know why I feel so concerned, <laughs> but I just want other people to live that life too. There's obviously a lot more little details that go into that. And I know the how part is something that I kept telling myself, oh, I don't know how to do. How do I even get there? Someone told me that you should just start with the goal, achieve that, and then get to the next one. And that's what I'm going to do. Right now, my goal was just to film this video. And that's what I'm going to focus on right now. I want to help other people, help the environment, which is something I haven't really talked about with many people. Especially after my study abroad experience and seeing how so many different people live their lives. It made me realize that that's something that I really find like valuable. Again, step by step, I've been overwhelming myself. I've been counting myself out before even trying. I, exactly what I don't want for other people. I want them to genuinely try. I'm afraid, <laughs> even as I currently am doing this, I'm still gonna post this because I want to be a good example for whoever decides to watch this video. A lot of people don't know me and that doesn't apply necessarily to the people that are closest to me, but there are parts of me that I felt like I haven't shared and obviously this is very different than my videos that I posted in the past. I know the way that I've been treating YouTube and what I want to do with my life. I've been treating it more like a hobby. I want people to see the things that I do is for a bigger purpose. Another reason why it took me a long time to film this video is because I felt like I had to be put together, <laughs> which is so contradictory. 
because the whole point is that I want you to see the parts where I'm struggling and the parts where uh, you see the growth because this is where it starts. Of course, everything that everything I've done before this is all been leading up to this point, I think. I want you guys to see the real struggles because that's what actually happens and I don't want you to think that chasing whatever you truly want to do in life is going to be easy because most likely isn't. It doesn't even have to be like something that you feel like is going to be like your career or <laughs> it can be just maybe it is a hobby for you. Maybe there's something that you always wanted to do. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm here to just hopefully help inspire you because through YouTube, I've been able to be inspired by so many people and seeing all their hard work and dedication has pushed me to do this. I'm sweating. <laughs> I just want to say thank you so much for the people that have decided to click on any of my videos. I genuinely don't know. <laughs> I know that my support system is so important. Thank you because it has helped me get through the times where I felt like giving up, when I felt like what I was doing wasn't important. It's just truly amazing to me that I, and I feel so grateful that I have people that genuinely care about me and want the best for me. I want that for you too. If I would share this mission statement that I made for myself, I think it was an assignment in high school. I found it while I was digging through some old stuff. Planning on putting on my wall in my dorm when I get back to Virginia. Let me share that with you guys. I printed it. I cut it out. I want to be more responsible and build a better character for myself. I hope to live life to the fullest, do my best at everything I do, and achieve my goals without giving up. I will be a better friend to all, care for others, make people laugh, and be loyal to my closest friends. That's pretty awesome. I think that that still applies now. I forgot to say Happy New Year 2019. I ain't fooling around. <laughs> the other day I went to an event where we had, they had us think about what our theme would be for the year, what word, and my word I thought of was execute. Although I thought that was good, and I think that's true because that's what I've been struggling with. For me right now is more just courage, being able to work up the courage to even execute in the first place. That's my theme for this year. If you feel like it, Go ahead and comment on this video. You can comment whatever, but it'd be cool. Maybe you can share a word that you want to focus on for this year. And if you would like, go ahead and subscribe. I'm planning on making more videos very similar to this. So hopefully you'll be here when I make that next step. <laughs> if you want to be more updated with me, kind of see what's going on outside of just when I post videos, my Instagram is kawaii case. I have Snapchat. If you search Casey Kalen, you'll find my social media links down below. Thank you to everyone who decided to watch this whole video. It means a lot. This is your year. Life's what you make it. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>